The phrase, that's just the tip of the iceberg, is a common metaphor. It suggests that you're only able to see a small fraction of a much bigger picture. Focusing on the tip, you risk ignoring what lies hidden beneath the surface. Applied to learning, it means focusing on explicit knowledge. For example, in learning to drive, the initial focus is on learning the rules of the road and procedures for operating a car. You memorize and then declare knowledge, such as the difference between a stop or a yield sign. This is necessary, but then what? As a novice, statistics show that during the first six months, you are eight times more likely to be involved in an accident. Why? Because explicit knowledge is above the surface. A novice driver still lacks tacit knowledge. This is knowledge below the surface that includes the ability to recognize certain traffic patterns, to discriminate speeds and the intentions of other drivers, to judge that a particular pothole or an object in the road is atypical, to develop mental models for different conditions like rain, ice, or driving at night, to develop a defensive mindset. With driving, we are discussing a narrow set of skills, but what about the broader context of domain expertise, like being a medical professional, an artist, or entrepreneur, where becoming an expert spans a wide range of interconnected skills? Across multiple fields, including naturalistic decision-making and educational psychology, research suggests that gaining expertise is not just a matter of time on the job. Instead, it can be accelerated by using your peer group as well as mentors, those individuals that share your passion and already have expertise. It's active learning that focuses on feedback and reflection. As a novice, you can quickly gain experience by being exposed to a wide range of situations. Now, creating these situations is not always easy, but there are a number of strategies available, including guided exploration. Ask a mentor about different situations you might explore. Create a list. A new driver, for instance, can start by taking different routes to school or work. Drive at various times to experience different lighting and weather conditions. Take a few weekend trips that will expose you to new situations. And use hypotheticals. A limitation of exploration is some situations can be dangerous or hard to arrange. For example, having a large animal suddenly cross in front of your moving vehicle. Instead, we can use what if or if then scenarios. We can work through various hypotheticals. Peers and mentors can be there to provide valuable insights into different decisions or approaches to consider. Look at case studies. In most professions or areas of interest, there are unique or seminal cases for us to study. For instance, in chess, you can study games of the experts, the grandmasters. In the medical field, there are patients that come in with rare conditions to discuss. In safety, there are accidents we can review. Case studies help cultivate expertise. Simulations. Generally speaking, the more realistic or accurate the simulation, the more time, effort, and money required. If you're trying to learn how to strike a ball, batting cages are a low-cost simulator. For flying, there are flight simulators. But take care, because bad or cheap simulations can sometimes lead to bad mental models or a counterproductive mindset. We can also gain experience through play, and games can be seen as another type of simulation. In decision games, there's often an experienced moderator that guides players through a situation. Matrix games, tactical decision games, and decision forcing are some examples that can help build expertise. While you do not want to ignore the tip of the iceberg, to accelerate expertise, you want to look below the surface. This is where you'll find your largest or quickest gains in overall performance. Modifying or introducing more rules or new procedures will not help teach you how to be an expert. Instead, focus on different ways that you can gain experience. Focus on what's below the surface to help develop your tacit knowledge.